And uh, uh, William Wright even yeah. said something. Uh, said something about my shooting. Some of these, Dad. Some of these questions are actually. I, I know that Reese and I have asked you before, but I'm not. I can't remember the details or well, there. It was a long time ago. I might not remember. So, so you might not. All right. Uh, so first off, let's. I don't know which one to start with first. Um, let's start at the beginning. Um, Always start at the beginning. So, <laughs> regarding your military service, specifically in the U.S. Army, how did you get into the Army? Did you enlist? Were you drafted? Like how? How, how did that all come about? Yeah, I had. Uh, ROTC was required for the first two years of college. Required? Required, yes. And then uh, those who wanted to go into advanced ROTC would, would apply to go in and then take a test and, and start your junior year in advanced ROTC. And which in my case, I also had flight training, so I was uh, committed for four years minimum. You signed up for that, for specifically to go into uh, pilot school? Well, it was very competitive to get into flight training. Oh, okay. But uh, mandatory ROTC, that was for all men going into college at this time? For what now? The mandatory ROTC. Yeah, it's most... Land Grant Colleges, it was, yeah. Oh, okay, you're a land grant college. Yeah. What college was it? East Tennessee State and, and Virginia. State. I didn't know that was a land grant college. Well, I don't think East Tennessee State was, but Virginia Tech is. Okay. And uh, I don't know why non land grant colleges either had a contract with the Army or something. Okay. Where they, it was required. For all, okay, so it was all specific to eligible the, people. For, specific for to the school, and you knew that going into it. So yeah. ROTC was something that you were drawn to that. Oh yeah. Okay. So th how did that lead to your active um, your active duty status? Well, I, <clears throat> because I was a DMG, I got to choose my branch, Medical Service Corps, and because I was conscientious objector, I only had one choice for flying, and that was medevac, dust off. And so you haven't you haven't once mentioned the word draft. So this was all volunteer. I, yeah. No, that's that's right. No, I'm, I <coughs> there was no draft when yeah. I went in. It came about later. Uh, a lot of friends got drafted after I got back and was in graduate school. So it was something you that you were drawn to. Oh, service yeah, yeah. and but also oh yeah I love it. combat service hmm? combat service in, in this case yeah yeah I love it uh here and th these are questions from from high school or so some of these are uh how was um what was your training like whether it be boot camp or training in ROTC or what you were talking about earlier with your training for um what was it uh, what, what would you call it live fire uh, attack you, you, oh, gunnery? Yeah. Uh, Even though that's not what you did yeah. in combat, you still were trained right. in and were training yeah, others. trained in, in everything, whether you did it or not. But yeah, the uh, – I don't know. I don't know what the question was. No. <laughs> just, just general training, whether it be your boot – I mean, you're, you're trained oh, out my, the wall. Oh, my primary training yeah. was through ROTC. Okay. ROTC summer camp was difficult. Down at Fort Benning, the heat was that also that was also uh, infantry, infantry and and airborne, right? Well, I, that was after I was on active duty. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Airborne's, I can't remember. I think it was three weeks. So you you are airborne. You've jumped out of a perfectly good airplane uh, on <laughs> numerous occasions. Okay, uh, and um, how about? upping that to, to specifically to your flight training? Well, I was flight obligated when I went in because I had... What you, in ROTC? When you had ROTC flight training, it obligates you to go to flight school and to stay in the Army additional two so, years. So your initial flight training in ROTC was fixed wing? Yeah. Okay, so well, explain what, explain what that is. It's <laughs> yeah. a regular airplane. Regular airplane. 
And then, uh, so how did that transition over to helicopters? That was mostly what the Army had at that time. And, and had everybody that flew helicopters had to be transitioned, if they were fixed ring rated, which I was, to helicopters, which took nine months. And nine months? Yeah. Of, tra uh, of training specifically for, for, for helicopters. For rotary, yeah. Oh my goodness, wow, that's a long time. It is. It is. That's quite an investment, Uncle Sam's investment. <laughs> that back at, in that day, they said it was worth two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I believe. Yeah, but, wow. But uh, I, I don't doubt that that's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, so basically, they said you were trained in what they needed, what they needed from you, and at the time, and that was helicopter pilots because of the type of scenario and combat that was they were anticipating or we were already involved in well we were already involved in it because i i went on that i went to vietnam in 66 yeah i've been that stuff went on there since 63 yeah okay but mostly of uh, advisory capacity and this was all uh Relatively new stuff. I know the the helicopter and its uh, well, its inception and even early use can be linked back to World War II. But other than uh, it, I guess combat use of the helicopter, the only really, I, I, from what I understand, the only previous dad you're being filmed. <laughs> the only he's hot. <laughs> Physically, uh, he's actually temperature hot. Uh, he uh, the only uh, earlier, I guess, lessons we had to learn from were Korea. Yeah, that's exactly. So, right. but so you, but so flying, uh, the, 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 but still helicopters in combat. That was still a relatively new thing, and so there's not a there weren't many previous uh, no. uh, examples to no. look to to do it right or wrong. No, or to there, look, there was there was no. Uh, attack functions for helicopters until Vietnam. So the helicopters, first of all, weren't equipped for that. And secondly, they were used for transport, cargo, troop carrying, and medic back. And that was about it. So more of a utility. Yeah. So it was Vietnam's when they started making uh, combat aircraft out of Huey's. Whole new use case. And that gets to the next question. What type of helicopter did you fly in Vietnam? Uh, nothing but a Huey. The which is, H -Mon. Which Huey is the UH-1 uh, Iroquois. Right. That's exactly the, better known as the Huey. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah, okay. Um, but you flew, yeah, the, the different models. Uh, what what do you say? What what models? The, the, in Vietnam, I flew the D and the H model. But you, you, I take it you have flown every one of them at some point. I had uh, a model for uh, instrument for training, instrument flight training. I was one of two candidates who got the instrument rating at in flight school. Instrument rating difficult. meaning that you can fly you had the, the aircraft by instruments got the same only. Training. But at the end of the training, you got to take a test flight with the FAA inspector. And if you pass that, you got an instrument rating. There were only two of us that yeah. got an instrument rating. And an instrument rating, I mean, that's basically flying off instruments. That's so right. so you, you, you're, exactly. you're flying with blind you're flying by instruments. Yes. And with a helicopter, I can, I can only imagine. What was, the tra that, what was the transition like from flying fixed wing? To helicopters, I can't. That, there's, that, that's night and day, isn't it? I mean, uh, for uh, no, it's not night. And day. Oh, okay. It's a lot. There's a lot of difference. The biggest challenge to someone going from fixed wing to a helicopter is just learning to hover, hold a helicopter, yeah, and steady over a, a something or not anything. It's just like. But once you're once you're up and you're just flying, that's it's similar enough. Yeah, it's, okay. it's similar enough. 